Hey, welcome back to the scale model experiment. Yesterday I was talking with a friend and we were discussing model car decals. And he said that he always had problems applying decals and that um, the Subaru that I'm currently working on is uh, a little out of his league. So I thought I would make a video to show how I apply decals and the working with complex curves and whatnot. So it could be kind of a long video for some. I tried to share some tips with you guys to help you build your models better. All right, this video is going to be to apply this decal here. Now, if you look at the body, it's flat surface here, but there's a character line low spot here. There's a crease here, a crease here. So it's gonna take a little bit of massaging. Let's get started. In my water here, I have a little bit of dish soap. I'll put the decal in upside down and press it down so that it doesn't curl. When you put them right side up, they tend to curl up. And just keep massaging it, getting it nice and wet. I'll be back with you in a minute. Now these are 20 year old decals. So I pat it down for a while, and then I will flip over the decal and continue to work at it a little bit. Just making sure that it's nice and wet. Now I left the little number on here, and when I can move the number, yes, I can move the number, so that way I know that the decal is, is almost ready to come off the paper. So let it drip dry and set it on the paper. This will absorb some of the water. Dab my finger in the wet water with the dishwashing soap in it. And I'm going to slather it everywhere that the decal is going to go. Make sure that it's nice and soapy. This will help the decal slide around a little bit. Let's check the decal. If I can move it around with just the slightest bit of movement, it's not quite ready yet. I'll put it back in the water. I'll be right back. Okay, so now the decal is moving around a little bit. It's ready. Now the idea is to drag the decal onto the body. You don't want to take the whole decal off the paper until you get it near the body where you want it to be. I'm just kind of slowly dragging it onto the body and I want to try and get it where I want it on the first shot. All right, so that's a door handle. Slowly, see that edge is wanting to, to pull off the paper. Just try and get it right where you want it, close enough. All right, so now that it's it's still wet, so I can maneuver it, and I'm trying to get it as flat as I can with my fingers. My fingers are wet, by the way. Don't have dry fingers or the decal will stick to your finger. Try and get it as flat as you can. straight as you can. The hardest part is right in here where that crease is. There's a low spot there and it comes up and down. So it's a flat decal. So it's going to want to just go where it wants to go, but you have to coax it into where you want it to go. Okay, dry up your fingers. Let's get a brush. Wet your brush with the soapy water and just start coaxing it into place. See here, I push it down and it comes right back up. But I want to keep trying to get this into where I want it to go. I'll be right back. 
So I keep working it with the brush to try and get it, get the water out from underneath it. Dab it on your paper, get the excess water off. You can see right there it's bubbling because it's a complex curve. But I got the door line set right here. Just keep working it with the with the brush. Try and get all that water out. And that character line, try and push it into the character line. It's looking better already. I'm gonna jinx myself and say this side is better than the other side. This side is done. All right, I'll be right back with you. Moving it around in the light, you can see that I have a wrinkle right here. See how it's wanting to pull away from the body? Keep working it over. It'll eventually get all this water out. Now I haven't used any solution yet. I'm still working with just the water. The impatient guy will hit it with the hair dryer right now, but I don't want any distortion in the decal. So I'm gonna keep working at it. See, I pull it this way and it lifts off. Pull it this way and it lifts off. So just keep working at it. it means that there's still water underneath there. I'll be right back. Another place is right here where the corner of here it's wrinkling right there. It's a flat decal, so it, it wants to go there. We'll just keep working it over with the brush. Getting all the liquid out. There it goes, lift it up again right there. Keep working it. It's gonna need a little more persuasion to stay down. So I get a cotton bud, wet it, last thing you want is a dry cotton bud because the decal will stick to it and roll slowly applying pressure to get the decal to go to sink down onto the body we're going to try and work from top to bottom forth. Let's lock this part down. Keep working it. And there, there, it just went down. Let's keep working it onto that character line. Work it down. You notice I still haven't used any solvent on it yet. I want to try and get it in place first. See it lifted completely off there. It may need some solvent to help it out. Let's start with the weakest micro set. You notice I tape these bottles together. That's to keep it from tipping over. some set on it, which is the weakest of the solutions. Brush it onto the places that we need a little bit of help with, right here, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now the solvent is working a little bit, it's smoothing out. 
continue working it with the brush. You can see here, I'm almost done with this crease. Keep working at it. Let's switch to Q-tip again. Keep working at it. Sometimes just a dab. pushing it down and maybe a drag see it lifted completely off right there keep working at it I'll be right back so now I'm gonna coax it a little bit with a hair dryer. Never use high, always low. I'm just gonna heat up the area a little bit. That we want to fix. And just heating it up just a little bit. Keep moving. Don't focus the heat anywhere. All right, now we just got a little bit of heat on it. Let's go one step higher with the micro sol. And don't put a whole bunch on. You just need a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna work it into the spots here. That end of the ARU keeps coming off the body. So let's keep coaxing it down. Don't get impatient here. It took me about 40 minutes to do the other side. Keep working it. Get our Q-tip back out. Roll it. Push it into that corner. Roll it back and forth, sink it right down. Get all that water out, tell the decal where we want it to go. Still a little wrinkly, you see the wrinkle right there? Keep working it. Lift it up again. Let's put a little more salt on it. Right in this little corner too. Lift it again. Decal's getting pretty soft now though. Hold it there. You really wanna try and push that decal down. And if you get a tiny wrinkle, that's okay. As long as it doesn't distort the word, you're all right. Okay, I'm pretty much set. I'm gonna go through this character line again. Get all the water out. Yeah, I can see some water underneath there. Keep pushing it towards the edge. Push that water out of the edge. I'll keep working at it. All right, I've been working it over with the Q-tip. 
over and over to get all the air bubbles out, get all the water out. I got a small bubble there, a small bubble right here, and then the AR is lifted a little bit. So I'm gonna go with the atomic bomb, which is Mr. Mark Softener. This stuff is super strong, and I don't recommend using it until you just can't get those little spots out. But I'm gonna run it along this character line to sink it down in, here and here. Let it set up for a second, and do not let this stuff dry because it'll leave water spots in your decal. So coax it. Keep coaxing it. Moving towards the edges. See the bubble, it's moving. Can you see the water bubble? It's moving up and out. Move that one right out of there. Oh, it's stuck right there. So that one's taken care of. Keep working. If you can hear my granddaughter crying, I sure can. All right, so all of these are taken care of. Let's focus down here now. tool and this is the decal squeegee it's got two edges it's a hard edge there and then a soft edge so I'll get it I'll get it wet and this is real good for getting into corners usually I'm just pushing it into the corners Oops, lost you on camera there. It's kind of just pushing it in, into the corners. And then with this end, you can sort of roll. I have slight pressure here. Roll it in. Can get it right into this little character line here. Make sure all this is down. Which I don't see any bubbles. Oh, there's a bubble. Let's work that out. See it right there. Let's get that little edge out. Push it. And there you have it, the 
decal is set. I'm gonna let this completely dry out. And then what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to take a very sharp hobby knife. This is next day, by the way. And I'm gonna follow my door line. Cutting the decal. the atomic bomb. Let it sit up for a second. And I'm going to work the decal into the door line. See how that that star is going into the door line? Too. Pat it in. A little more solvent. Use our pointy tool here. Push it right into that door line. This way, when you do the panel lines after the clear coat, it'll be a definite line and not a bridge over the door line of the decal. I hate it when I go to contests and I see that. See that? The decal is into the door line. Same thing here. And that is how you do decals. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this video next, then hit the subscribe button, then hit the like button. See you guys next time. Bye.